Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Aquarius, for July 2022, darling. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Aquarius, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, Aquarius, so why not? And it helps out this tarot channel a lot. All right, and let me know in the comments below, Aquarius, how this tarot reading resonates with you. All right, as well, on the top right-hand corner of your screen, Aquarius, I'll leave a link to your monthly tarot reading for July as well. Now be sure, chat, darling Aquarius, to check out your monthly, or uh, not your monthly, uh, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus sign, darling. That's how you make the most out of these YouTube general tarot readings for your zodiac sign, is to ca cater the energy to your chart, all right? Not just to your Sun sign, Aquarius. So we're going to be getting into three rows, darling Aquarius. Your first row is going to be talking about your career and financial situation, darling. All right. And then in your second row, we're going to be getting into your social life, Aquarius, your platonic relationships, your romantic ones, darling, ex-friends, honey, family, darling. It's your social life, right? And then in your third and final row, Aquarius, we're going to be getting into just some general tarot messages that y'all need to be hearing at this current point in time, honey. All right. Starting out your weekly tarot reading for July, though, Aquarius, all right? You have the Wheel of Fortune coming in here, all right? You guys have been noticing for a while, Aquarius, where you might have been having just like a streak of bad luck, perhaps, or maybe you've been in a place of where at a complete standstill. For some of you guys, you feel as if there has been too much motion that's been happening currently. Things are going to be changing here. You don't see it right now, but the Wheel of Fortune is now starting to start shifting to turning in your favor but the wheel of fortune doesn't just start shifting in this way without there being something in the physical that starts this change to be happening here all right so that's going to be the overall theme of your reading this week here where it's just like something starts to change is some small detail is what begins the avalanche of shifts in your life essentially here aquarius so uh if you're wanting to have some motion happening darling be anticipating something going down so now let's take a look in regards to your, to your career and financial situation firstly, Aquarius, all right? You have the hanged man here with the Hierophant as well as the two of pentacles coming in here. <clears throat> Aquarius, I feel as if you guys are tossing the I, around the idea of doing a couple of different things here, all right? I feel like for you guys, uh, Aquarius, you're in this place where... You would like to have a change of pace. You would like to have like something going on when it comes to your career. But I feel like the main issue that's happening for you is that your plate is too full. You have to make time for something. But in order for you to have like a certain project to be successful and to be profitable to you, right? You would have to make more time for it. But the main message here, Aquarius, is that for those that choose to take the risk, right? For those that choose to go on the hanged man journey where you commit to the decision in hopes to gain something from it of substance, that's who ends up getting the biggest payout here. All right. Sometimes you have to stop trying to juggle so many things at once, Aquarius, and make the decision towards what it is that you're going to let go of to make time for something else. You have this hierophant energy here, Aquarius. Let's Really, which really lets you know that there's the strong potential for you to really be uh, developing your roots with something new, something solid, something that you get a lot more out of, something that you learn, you learn more about yourself. All right. I feel as if like for you, Aquarius is like, there's something in regards to how you make your money that you need to tap into challenging your own personal essence or start exploring uh different outlets i don't know aquarius i feel as if for some of you guys like the only thing that's coming to mind is where it's like let's say that you're an artist right maybe you always use um oil paints or oil acrylic or whatever um maybe try a different medium all right or try a different you know instead of painting get into sculpting something in that way all right i don't know where that message is coming from but take it or leave it honey all right take it or leave it aquarius now, in regards to your social life here, darling, you have the Ace as well as Five of Swords coming in here with the Tower energy here. 
Aquarius, Aquarius, your head gets to the best of you, doesn't it, darling? All right. I feel like for you, the hardest part when it comes to relationships for you, darling Aquarius, is the sense of like being in your head. Like it's like you want to be friends with certain people, you want to connect with people, but then it's like there's like a little voice in your head maybe it's just due to previous traumas where you weren't really in very healthy friendships or family dynamics where communication was healthy right but i get like this sense for you aquarius where it's just like the sense of avoidance i don't know i get the sense of avoidance when it comes to uh relationships in your life here because of just like your head getting to the best of you all right but i feel like the main reason as to why you are in this way well yes we can acknowledge on some level aquarius i mean naturally you have the ace of swords being the heart of the spread here so on some level that's just who you are that's who your identity is there's nothing wrong with that but also pretty big part as to why you are probably finding it and finding yourself in this place of having to just like overthink in your relationships aquarius is because of the type of people that you've been around all right now with that wheel of fortune shifting all right i feel like you're going to start attracting people that you are going to be a lot calmer about but i feel like something's still going to be needing to happen to get to that ball going all right now for your general tarot messages aquarius for this week of july you have the moon page of cups with the four of wands coming in here all right so here's the thing for you aquarius you are not done yet when it comes to socializing this year all right and what i mean by that <laughs> i suppose i should clarify that aquarius what i mean by you're not done socializing is that in the month of july you're going to be meeting or getting closer with certain individuals here all right don't feel like you already are close with them here due to that moon energy all right but if you have been wanting to get out of that state where it's just like you're constantly having to like it's just like breaking the pattern we'll say aquarius of like having relationships in your life where you are just filled with anxiety and just constantly questioning every move every message every grammatical thing right Aries, you're going to be having those new energies coming in in July here, all right? But it still comes in with that moon energy of unfounded territory, all right? So I get like this sense of, again, where it's just like maybe when you change mediums, right? Instead of using paintbrushes, you get into a clay sculpting or something like that, right? You join a community from there and in that community, you meet people, all right? I feel like it's through you expanding your horizons uh aquarius that you end up finding more of your soul tribe coming in here all right this four of wands and page of cups speaks volumes for that here all right it really does all right again the reason why so many times your social relationships just feel so stressful is just because aquarius you're just not surrounding yourself around the right people darling it has nothing to do with you so now let's start getting into the clarifiers for all these tarot cards here aquarius Let's take a look at clarifying your career and uh, and your financial situation. As a reminder, it is the two of pentacles with the hierophant and hanged man coming in. Six of pentacles, cherry energy with the three of wands here. All right. And in the back of the deck is the three of pentacles coming in here. You've been having this for a while now, Aquarius, of where I've been consistently noticing or just like collaborations all right you might be getting offers of working together with other people um again i really get this sense of like coming together like creating new connections or friendships or bonding with certain people through doing some type of craft together through i don't know i feel as if for you um there is seemingly a strong potential towards um working together being inspired by other energies all right so see where who you can be inspired by who can give you um some insight from experience on whatever it is that you want to evolve from now you're clarifying car oh. <laughs> you're clarifying cards here aquarius are the chariot the three of or two of, yeah three of wands darling with the six of pentacles coming in here all right what i feel for you here aquarius is that in regards to your work life here you know where you need to go you know where your heart is calling you you know where your soul is calling you but for whatever the reason is you haven't been about taking the action you haven't been about following the clues uh aquarius which is like a big problem here darling all right it's like you guys aquarius 
are being shown like the whole like plan of action of like or being like guided to where you need to be going but for whatever the reason is you're being so resistant towards it here um again i feel as if for some of you aquariuses this is a sign where you need to release yourself from other projects that you're juggling with maybe put a pin on them you know i know aquarians are really you know your projects are like your babies right but especially your creative ones but i feel as if there's something that you need to just stop expanding yourself so thin and really dedicate yourself and putting out on putting yourself putting out a specific project and i don't know why aquarius i never think about this for my youtube tarot readings but sizza immediately comes to mind and now i am a huge fan of sizza honey but if you know sizza she hasn't put out an album in how many years now same like rihanna but sizza is a perfect example of it where it's like she is the only thing that's stopping herself from having further success because she's so in her head i wonder what zodiac sign she is sizza I'm gonna have to look it up later but um she's so in her head and she's constantly editing her album so she just never puts it out right so definitely i feel like y'all relate to this as a story it's like you need to just focus on putting out that album and just keep it to that energy all right so now let's take a look at your social life here aquarius let's take a look at uh the clarifiers for what's going on here as a reminder it's that three uh not three five of swords ace of swords with that tower energy okay nine of wands page of pentacles with the five of pentacles coming in here all right so this is going to be an initial journey for you aquarius and then back of the deck the seven of cups options options option options 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 i can't speak right now <laughs> so Aquarius for you guys right now this is a situation of where you need to start learning how to accept that there's going to be just certain people that are just not of your vibe all right and instead of internalizing it start looking for your tribe all right darling again I get like this sense of where it's just like there's certain people that you want to connect to there's people that you want to text back there's someone that you want to communicate with but then you always are just like like this stubbornness comes into hand where you're just like oh no they're not going to be interested in what have you all right you're th you're being way too small-minded when it comes to what it is that you have to offer aquarius all right and again i get like this sense for some of you guys you just don't have the time for certain like just new connections but that i feel like as if i want to challenge some of you aquarius is the only reason why you feel like you don't have the time for it is because again you're dealing with relationships that are taking up too much of your at least emotional and mental space all right. But again, it seems to be for you, Aquarius, like it's so important for you to start focusing in on your environment and creating a very healthy, conducive environment um, for um, <clears throat> for your creative process to. So because I get like I heard fish out of water, Aquarius. So it's almost as if like whatever it is that you're dealing with here, it just like it's like you're around people, but you're not able to be yourself. Now, Aquarius, you're going to have to forgive me, honey. I'm noticing just like a little bit of. <laughs> I don't think that made it any better, Aquarius. <clears throat> Honey. All right, whatever. <laughs> we'll just have to go along with it for the end here, Aquarius. All right. So in your final row here aquarius all right with your predictions here you had the moon energy four of wands as well as that page of cups honey i feel like i just made it real worse honestly though it's kind of like an aesthetic when you look at this doesn't it look like that aquarius this is act honestly pretty gorgeous uh let's get the clarifiers for your <laughs> general messages here the hermit card in the back of the deck here for you <sighs> all righty so aquarius you have the sun card the seven of cups coming back out here darling with the knight of swords there's a lot coming but you all right i'm gonna say this again aquarius you need to start freeing up your plate you need to start freeing up your plate here you're going to be having a lot of positive things coming in for you a lot of different new ideas new doors opening up for you that you are not comfortable with here but you have to make the space here all right you have to excuse me you have to be willing aquarius to broaden your horizons broaden your craft more here because the doors that are opening up for you are doors that you're not familiar with and that's what leads to a lot more happiness for you here all right the doors that are completely new and foreign to you are what's going to get you to where you want to be going here when you have this knight of swords you can already be already be anticipating just a lot of just a lot of new things being thrown your way here. And I know it's new because of that Seven of Cups. 
and you just need to be prepared for it aquarius you need to make space for it here all right hermit energy some of you guys need to be ready to like some of you guys need to just get out of your shell some of you guys need to get out of your mad scientist hole <laughs> a little bit stop obsessing over something here aquarius i don't know <clears throat> But uh, yeah, that's an interesting tarot reading there, Aquarius. I feel like there's just like, I could spend like 10 more minutes trying to unpack the complexity of that energy. And also, let's just take a note back of the deck here, your your energy here, Aquarius, the star. Come on now. So let's get into your oracle cards here, Aquarius. You guys have the new moon in Scorpio. Go, go deeper here. New moon in Scorpio, go deeper. I want to be challenging you, Aquarius, in that... <sighs> I feel as if I want to ask the question of like why some of you guys are so afraid of experimentation because I feel like experimentation is what is really going to give you so many benefits. All right. But it's like because you don't want to experiment like you're still in the same place. You're still not having that wheel of fortune turning and have shifting. That's where the change needs to happen, really. And then you have the Kiwi card, Aquarius. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. All right, Aquarius. So getting out of your head, going deep within yourself, doing some soul searching, asking yourself some hard questions, asking yourself why you're doing certain routines in your life. And if those routines are still truly serving you today, sure, they may have served you at one point in time, like two years ago, but that doesn't mean it should be serving you now still. All right, Aquarius, so that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you. I apologize for, like, I probably should have just checked and wiped the camera um, before I started recording, but I apologize for this weird uh, little lighting, but though it kind of looks cool in my opinion. But um, I love you so much, darling. If you enjoy this weekly tarot reading, I promise you the monthly tarot reading for you has a lot better quality, darling. Um, if you want to book a private reading with me, Aquarius, my website's linked down below, Simply Velcone dot com is if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level aquarius uh, my social medias tiktok and instagram are both just simply velka same as here but i love you so much darling and hopefully i have the opportunity aquarius to give you in future tarot reading love you so much darling bye